Hello everybody and welcome to Extruder Joe. Today what we're going to do is we're going to put some lights on our 3D printer. This can be done with any 3D printer as long as it has a power supply, which all of them do. How this is going to work, it's a very simple upgrade. What we're going to do is get a simple kit from Amazon. I got the one that is a weather sealed one, which I know we're not going to have too much water spraying on our 3D printer, which we pretty much shouldn't, but it will keep any dust out from around the LEDs, which is definitely a problem with 3D printers, little, little particles of plastic getting everywhere. I will have links for this entire kit down below in the description. They are Amazon affiliate links, so if you'd like to help me out, you can go ahead and click the link. I get a little kickback from it but it does not change the price for you. If your printer has a different voltage power supply than 12 volts, then you're going to want to get a step down transformer, which will take the 24 volts or whatever voltage you have and step it down into 12 volts, which is ultimately what we want. It won't hurt your printer at all, and it's gonna be isolated to the LED light strip. The kit comes with a little 12 volt control box, which is gonna power the LEDs. It also comes with this little remote control, which is fantastic because it allows you to do things like change the color. You can also make things dimmer or brighter, however you want. But the best part is you can turn your lights on and off with this thing. So if you want your lights on in the middle of the night to watch your Octoprint running, you can do that. And during the day, you can turn your lights off if you want. Okay, this is a super simple upgrade. Like I said, this can work on any 3D printer. It's not just for the FT5. Let's go. This will be a solderless upgrade. You can use more robust methods if you so choose. Tools you will need for this upgrade. A multimeter, wire strippers, wire snippers, a length of multicolored wire, stranded or solid core, some sort of metal ends. I use JST mail connectors, cosmetic things, auto wire loom, heat shrink tubing, kit contents, control box with IR sensor, 12 volt AC to DC adapter, IR remote control, 16 foot of waterproof lights, double sided 3M tape and LED light extension cables and connectors. To begin, Cut off the connector from the 12 volt AC to DC adapter. Strip the outer shielding back. Inside will be a red wire and a white wire. The red wire is positive, the white wire is negative. Put connectors on the ends of the wires you just cut. Annotate it somehow which is positive and which is negative. I cut the tip off of one of the JST connectors. Secure the wire and connectors with heat shrink tubing or electrical tape. You want to make sure you won't have any bare wires in or around your board or power supply. Either way, it's dangerous. Once this is all sorted, head over to the printer and power it up. Warning, use appropriate safety when working around live power supply. While 12 volts is not very much voltage, the rest of the power supply does have fatal levels of power. So be safe. Find the 12 volt positive and 12 volt negative terminals on the power supply. If they're not marked, use a multimeter to test which is which. If the multimeter shows 12 volts, then you have the right terminals. Any other voltage will not work, so try some more terminals. Power off the machine and unplug it from the wall or unplug it directly from the power supply. Put the wire you made under the appropriate screws on the power supply. Plug in the other end to the controller box. Take an LED strip and plug it in the controller box and then power up the printer. Test that the LEDs work and then turn it all back off. You'll now want to measure the distance from the white plug on the controller box up to the point you want to attach the lights. For the FT5, I put it up the back extrusion and came out by one of the Y-axis motors. For me, this was 16 inches, so I made a cable with two of the extensions and multicolored ribbon cable between because I didn't have some of the same colored wire. Once you do this, you can put double-sided tape down around the frame where you want to mount the lights. Once you have it in position, Remove the paper from the tape and also the paper from the LED tape. Stick the LED on the frame and be sure to line it up where the end will plug into the wire that you made. Hook everything up and test. I used a couple of zip ties to hold it in a better position. Run all the wires into a loom if you're going to go for a cleaner look. Button everything back up and enjoy your new lights. Thanks a lot for watching everybody. I hope this was really helpful to you. Once again, links down below will give me a little kickback because they come from Amazon. 
Also, if you guys are looking for anything from Folger Tech, please use my code extruded on the Folger Tech website. Uh, you will show it right here. Extruded, and it will give you 10% off of anything you purchase. It does not require anything else, and I do not get any kickbacks from it. I'm just making sure that we got that set up for you guys who uh, are interested in anything from Folger Tech. Thanks, everybody. Remember, it is nice to be important, but more important to be nice. We'll see you next time. All right, cut. I don't think I clapped. Did I clap? I don't know if I clapped. We'll clap again.